wound up putting the alternator on here from AutoZone and it failed last night. So I got a alternator coming from my parts store, O'Reilly's, and we're gonna put that on there and see if it works. And to add, uh, we I did go over some basic diagnostics. I mean, it wasn't nothing complex. I mean, you just you just need a just need 12 volt sources going into the alternator. Pulled the wiring diagram. We looked at that. Had all the had the recipe for a working alternator, but it just wasn't producing. So, just a bad unit. <clears throat> It ain't so bad the second, uh, third, I, I want to, not third time around, but I guess pulling it off, pulling it back on, you maybe can count as one, maybe it's like, I don't know, maybe can you count as three? So I got my tools laid out, pull the serpentine belt, pull those two 14 millimeters off, extract the alternator. <clears throat> All right, let's run through this again. Here's a new one. This is from O'Reilly's. This is the Ultima starter. I'm a set starter. I call it a starter. This is the Ultima alternator. <laughs> and um, let me, I think the pulleys look a little different. They look like they're different sizes. Could it, hold on one second. This one looks smaller, this one looks bigger. I wonder, I'm gonna take a measurement, but I do wonder, is it just a perception thing or am I tripping? My battery's dead on here, don't, don't clown me. So we got 61 millimeters, 60, 60, about 60, uh, 62 millimeters almost, 62 and a half pulley which is about um two and a half inches oh shit i'm gonna screw some stuff up all right so here's the auto zone pulley and it's smaller this pulley is sixty millimeters and it's a um two point three inches so I wonder if if I would have revved it up, will it start have uh, have started working? Maybe the alternator wasn't bad. Maybe the pulley was just too small for it to start working at a uh, at the RPM the vehicle was at versus what the pulley's on. Now it doesn't make any sense because the alternator versus the generator. I mean, the alternator is supposed to work at low RPM. That's the benefits of those versus the generator. So this logically doesn't make any sense for the pulley to make a difference. I mean, when you start up, it, it revved up. It went over a thousand RPM. It was a cold start. I wonder how this is gonna work with this pulley on here because I hope that tensioner is able to accommodate. Don't know till we put it on. So I'm gonna run this bolt in the back of here. Just to See if it goes in there. Yeah, it goes in real smooth. Just to run the bolt in there really quick before I put it in there. Alright. Here goes nothing. Ground voltage, ground, positive. 
All right, let's see what happens. We're making 14 volts, cool. It's crazy. Everything knocked out. She is good to go. Uh, don't you hate when people make uh, YouTube videos with like issues and don't update? So nah, that was like, conflict resolution. Conflict resolution. So I never had um, a part right out the box from the aftermarket place like not work per se. I mean, I've had them fail after being utilized, but I never had one just straight up not work out the box. And I, and I know that does happen. I'm not going to say it doesn't, but it's the first time it happened. Parts fail. Trust me. I've been having a lot of that lately. I shouldn't be touching this because just my luck, I'll break it. But you saw how it was to replace the alternator. And we saw how to, we know how to test it. I'm going to put the link in the description for the other video to where we initially diagnosed it and replaced it. It was just a back test. I mean, AutoZone did say they needed an alternator. They weren't wrong. It's just the fact that, you know, it, this their part uh, was just was inferior. I ain't gonna lie, the Ultimas that I get from O'Reilly's are inferior. Things break. It happens. It's inevitable. So, but uh, if anything happened, obviously I'll update. But hit that link, subscribe to the channel, stay informed. Had originals, my work. See you on the next one.